Hello and welcome to the section of the Physics 3 Tutor. In this section we're going to cover the topic of orbiting charges in a magnetic field. And we're going to have a few sections here because here I want to outline sort of the theory and the following sections will work some problems to really show you what we're talking about. Uh, you might guess that since the title is orbiting charges there's going, to, there's going to be some information about something orbiting and that's exactly right so your intuition is correct. Now remember from the last couple of sections we spoke a great deal about the fact that when you have a magnetic field right present and you shoot a charged particle into that field the magnetic field doesn't really speed up or slow down that charge it doesn't it doesn't push it along the direction of motion like an electric field does but what it does is it exerts a force that's perpendicular to the velocity of that particle and also the perpendicular to the to the field itself. So what it basically does, and we drew a few pictures, is it causes the charge direction to change. It causes it to curve. Right? And so that's something that's uh, that's just always going to be the case when you deal with magnetic fields and charged particles moving through a field. Of course if the charge isn't moving at all, then there's no force at all, so nothing really happens, which is also different than an electric field. Now one thing that I did not tell you previously I kind of hinted to it I told you hey you have a particle you shoot it in a field it's gonna bend right what I didn't really tell you is that if you just have a, a magnetic field in space which you know they're always around there's a magnetic field right now in this room there's a magnetic field in deep space if, you, if it's uh, unobstructed and it's just present and if I take a, uh, a charged particle like an electron or a proton or some heavy ion or something and I shoot it into that magnetic field and I observe it, what's going to actually happen is that particle is going to move and it's going to begin to curve, but if you watch it long enough, it's going to begin to kind of go around in a circle over and over and over and over and over again. And it turns out that we cannot see these magnetic field lines, but if we could, right, if there was a magnetic field that was going like this, and I shoot some charged particles from me to you, they're going to begin to go and basically orbit the magnetic field lines, basically. Uh, because that's the way the forces are going to actually uh, line up. So what I want to do is prove that to you, not with a bunch of math, but with a bunch of pictures, so that you can understand why that's the case. So let's go and do that. Let's pretend that we have a magnetic field coming out of the board. It's coming from me to you, so it's coming towards you. All right, and what we're going to do is label some instant in time, time one, because what I'm going to have is a few snapshots in time that I'm going to draw and I'm going to try to show you that what, what I'm saying here is true. So what we're going to have is I'm going to represent it as a dot and I'm going to put B vector under it. This dot means that this is a, there's a magnetic field. The dot means it's coming towards you, right? Of course, if you ever see in a book an X like this, that means the magnetic field is going away from you. But in this case, we're saying that the magnetic field is coming toward you. Now, this magnetic field might be there might be tons of magnetic field lines all around here, but I'm only drawing one of them for clarity. Okay? Now, let's look at time one, and let's pretend that we have a particle up here, some charged particle, and it has a charge Q, right? And let's say that here at the beginning, this particle is actually moving this direction. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing a velocity vector, so I'm going to put V bar, right? So what we have is a situation where we have a magnetic field. Of course, I'm, uh, the magnetic field's everywhere. It's uniform, but I'm only drawing it in one location here just for clarity. But the field obviously exists at all points.